Let's talk about something you're going to be releasing tomorrow so yeah. everybody out there can make sure they tune in. What is it? So I have a Black History Month series on WBRZ. We have a new story that airs every Sunday. Um, we actually are going to have a special running next week to show all of the stories. But this week, that's why I'm here today, because Perry is such a great person. He hooked me up with um, the legendary, iconic baseball coach, Roger Cador, who's in multiple halls of fame. And um, I found out this piece of information from talking to y'all through the week mm -hmm. that the in MLB history... There is only one person who has ever been the number one drafted person overall, not once, but twice. Only one person has ever done that. And that man is Mr. Danny Goodwin, and he went to Southern University. That's it. Because he valued getting an education more than just taking a quick check. And it's a good thing he did because he went on to, you know, do some really, really great things in his life. So to be able to share that, be able to tie that to Coach Roger Cador and like this golden era of HBCU baseball when all of the top Baseball talent was, mm -hmm. you know, coming to Southern, going to HBCUs. I I did not know that, you know, with all the talk about baseball locally, I thought it was very, very important to share that story, especially give Coach Kador his flowers while he's here. You I told him I mean? he in more Hall of Fames than he, 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 he cares not nothing about him, right? He cares nothing. Nothing, like, yeah. But what? that's the house Kador yeah. built. It is. And, it, and he built it, obviously, not on his own. He built it on the shoulders of other giants. Mr. Emery Hines, I believe, mm -hmm. was the legendary coach when he was in school. So, um, and, and it's funny because Coach Kador didn't even come to Southern to play baseball. Basketball. He came to play basketball. Didn't think he should be playing baseball a lot. And then there's, that's the story of so many of his teammates. You know, he's gotten so many young men to their dreams, to playing Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. I think he told me the number was 66 over the course of his career. Isn't that I might, amazing? I might be messing that up, but you can watch WBRZ tomorrow <laughs> night at 10 o'clock to find out because I got it in the story. Um, but, yeah, I, I find it very important to give our people their flowers while they're here and to, again, share stories for people who normally wouldn't have an opportunity to share their stories. What's going on, everybody? I am Perry White. I'm the host of the Jaguar Journal. I want to make sure that you guys tune in live each and every Saturday morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on 107.3 FM. We also have our affiliates in Alexandria, Louisiana, as well as down in New Orleans. And if you're not able to catch us on Radio Live, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook. It's the Jaguar Journal.